Please welcome Yonela Takashi, who will read a poem called Daniel, Don't Die Alone, by a poet called Fanula Darling. Daniel, Don't Die Alone, by Finula Darling. <laughs> He was 29. Actually, he was older than that. But a long, long street and in Devatar Gant, you have to be young to be loved. Or so Daniel thought. Daniel's family lived somewhere along the N1. Along the N1, you have to be a bit to be loved, or so Daniel thought. Daniel's family never visited him in his art deco flat, and he never told them about wanting to find a nice man and settle down. In any case, lately, red, itchy scales burnt his skin, and he thought, well, that's it, beloved and romance. Daniel didn't go to the doctor because when you're sick, your family and friends have to take care of you, and Daniel preferred to be on the giving end of things. So in order to block out the death that he was in fact inviting in, Daniel stayed up later and later, balancing his boss's nightclub books, helping his friends with their catering. Work, work, Daniel, good boy, Daniel. Until one day, he woke up and swayed and fell. Daniel caught a taxi to his death because he didn't want to disturb his family or bother his friends. Though some did come by the ward that night and heard him ask, who are the others in the room? Who is that standing behind you? Then the few friends left and Daniel died. And later, someone told his family all about Daniel for the first time. So please, join me as I say. Daniel, don't die alone. Call your mother to the phone. Say, Mama, I can't do this on my own. Daniel, next time you die, don't catch a taxi to your death. Call someone you know. Say, I can't do this on my own. <laughs>